Uh, Jarvis, start stream, please, for me. Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis, can we get a USA in the chat, please? Jarvis. Jarvis. Jarvis, can you give Mr. Beast a kiss, please? Jarvis, thank you. Hi, everyone. What's going on? Yes. Yes, we are live. Uh, and let me... Uh, freaking tweet that we're live lol let's freaking it's your boy twitch.tv slash jacks films i'm a little stinker and there we go all right okay and does this work it works all right um exquisite hello everybody very important stream here tonight this is not your little basic bitch stream this is extremely important just a, a note to the editor you don't have to include any of this preamble editor for the VOD, I'm going to film my own little um, epic intro, uh, in, actually in front of the mantle, just so it doesn't look like a VOD, so people don't click off and go, ew, a Twitch VOD, unsubscribed. Like, no, I'm gonna trick them. Editor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film myself in front of the mantle and say like, I let you guys play matchmaker. Here's how it worked and I'll do it. And then what you can do after my, well, I'm, I'm gonna edit and film and edit the preamble. You can just cut straight to the first question once, you know, I'll be like, all right, our first couple, you know, once I say that, I'll be like, all right, our first couple, and that could be your cue to start the edit. Twitch, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my editor, okay? And um, I'm just going to, uh, hey, first off, happy Thursday, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm just going to, mm. uh, it's my own pee. Um, no, I'm just joking. It's just water. It's, we have really bad water filtration here. And it's actually really, it's abysmal, right? Uh, but happy Thirsty Thursday, everyone. And uh, mm, this is a shard, just a born old Chardonnay. If you're tuning in, uh, this is super important. We are doing a matchmaking stream, right? So a while ago, uh, literally like two days ago, I asked you guys, uh, gym class was good. Thank you so much. It was really good. Thank you for asking this guy. I asked you guys, um, if you're on Tinder, um, you know, what makes you swipe right, meaning you're interested in someone, or what makes you swipe left, meaning you're not interested in someone, right? So then we took all your answers and we played matchmaker. And um, what the, well, actually, no, we didn't play matchmaker. Our council, our lovely council, um, based off of your Tinder preferences, they would group you guys together into couples, right? Based on whether people, you know, what people swiped right or left for. And tonight, you guys come in, Twitch viewers. Um, I'm going to set up polls tonight. I'm going to show you a pair of people. I haven't even seen these yet. Um, and uh, you have to vote on whether you think each couple that I show you tonight should date, should not date, or should get married. Okay. I'm going to give you a bunch of polls tonight, and those will always be your three options. Should they date, should they not date, or should they get married? That's what marriage looks like. Um, all right, so you're playing matchmaker. You have a very important role tonight, all right? I'm not doing diddly shit. It's all you, all right? I'm just going to sit here and sip my wine. Mm, still good, all right? Yes, Caffeine Bros is right. Marriage, it's scissoring. Marriage looks like scissoring. All righty. Um, enough chit-chat. Let's go. I haven't even seen... I'm staring a PowerPoint presentation in the face, and I haven't seen the first one. Um, so let's go. So, again, if, just to, one last time to recap. I asked you guys a while, if you're on Tinder, what makes you swipe right, meaning you like them, or swipe left, meaning you don't like them. And uh, we grouped you guys based on your preferences. Let's it go. All right, so both of these people swiped right, meaning interested. Like, this is what they're interested in, all right? Here's what makes them swipe right on Tinder. If their bio contains the script to B movie, if you don't have it memorized, who even are you? And Robot Richie, I, I, I should have said that. Editor, can you open with Vaso? Va Here, I'll say it again. Vasoverse says, what a terrible name. Vasoverse writes, if their bio contains the script to B movie, <laughs> wow, let me try that again. This is for the VOD. Vasoverse writes, if their bio contains the script to B movie, if you don't have it memorized, who even are you? All right. Robot Richie writes, depends on how many Bs they can swallow. 20 is a good sweet spot. All right. So um, we have two. 
<laughs> we have two uh, very B-focused parties. Now, uh, is my, my view, viewers, I, I ask you this. Is this marriage or dating material? Or do they like two different types of bees, right? I'm going to plant that little seed. I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm certainly dressed for it. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to play... Uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say these are two very different types of bees. Um, but luckily, I'm so good. I already have the polls set up. And go ahead and vote right now. Should they date? Should they not date? Or should they get married? Go ahead and submit your votes right now. Um, and uh, oh, people are voting. Good, good, good. We have some people voting. Get those votes in. Every vote matters. Okay. All right. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I mean, like, the script to B movie, it's an old May May, excuse me, but it checks out. And someone just wants to see a guy, see someone swallow bees. 20 bees, I feel like, is kind of rookie numbers, 20. All right, get those votes, oh my gosh, there's a one vote difference betwixt first and second place. This is, oh, now it's a tie. Now is it, it is a tie. Uh, it, this is dangerously... This is dangerously close, viewers, okay? This is a crazy close pull. I do not know which way this cookie will crumble. Are we having fun yet? In f oh, my goodness. You guys, it was super, super close. 83 of you said they should date. With only with 43% of the votes, you guys voted they should date. 42% of the votes went to not date. So this was very close. Only three people um, made the difference betwixt dating and not dating. Our our closest and so far only poll of the night. I love it. Okay, well, congratulations, Vasoverse and Robot Richie. Uh, go to a Starbucks or whatever people do on dates. I don't know. Um, all righty. But that was fun. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> what a terrible idea. Okay. Get that poll out of the way. Oh, wait. What if I want to make a new poll? Manage poll. Yeah. New poll. And then I have to do it all over again? That fucking sucks. All right. Should they dot 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 date? Not date? Or uh, get married? I hate that I have to type it in every single time. All right. Next up. Next up. Here we go. Ready? And Bazinga. Here's our next couple. All right, so these two, all, both of these parties also swipes right. This is what they're interested in on Tinder. By Luis would swipe right uh, by how <clears throat> Luis swipes right for by how moist or crunchy their skin looks. Yummy. And Absurdist Frog swipes right if they are slimy and got good legs. Are these into, like, frogs? Are both of these, like... Sorry, I guess I, I, I was swayed by absurdish frog. <laughs> I don't... Viewers, I don't know what either answer means. I think both of these parties need help. Uh, but that's not my job tonight. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so, um... I'm just trying to... Hold on. By how moist or crunchy... Those are two very different things, Luis. I think you should either... You gotta pick between moist or crunchy. You can't say both. No, that's weird. But you both have the wet thing going on. Like, both of both of you parties... Both parties are interested in wet skin. Which is really cool. Um, I kind of love that. Uh, but I leave it to you, viewers. I am going to... What a hellish, hellish game we have here. Uh, poll is open. All right, what should these two parties do? Should Luis and Frog date? Should they not date? Or should they just straight up get married? Go ahead and vote right now. The poll is open. We got a bunch of votes pouring in here. Get those votes in. I'm curious to see what the heck these people should even be doing. Boggy Boggy, thank you for the uh, sub. And Robot Richie gifted a sub to Jed Stone. How cool is that? Robot Richie. Enjoy your date, Robot Richie. All right. Don't have too much fun now. <laughs> All right. No, we have fun here. 
Um, it is very much going one way. This is not going to be a tie. The viewers here have decided on one option and really one option only uh, for Luis and Absurdus Frog. And uh, I'm going to tell you that um, in five, four, three, two, one. They're getting married. Congratulations. Love is in the air. Wedding bells are a chiming. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the I'm proud of the community. I'm so proud of this community. Um is that old yet? But well done. A uh, hundred and sixty-six percent of all the votes went to getting married. Legit two thirds voted that uh these two lovebirds should be soulmates and uh stick together forever. And they can they can lick their wet skin um, until their dying days. What a cool, visceral thought. Love that. Um, love that. I don't love that at all. I think this is an abomination. This is this love should not be. I'm just gonna say it. I'm sorry. It's it's. No, I don't want to view results. I want a new poll. Okay. Should they date? Not date get married okay can we make the poll less than a minute no okay that's fine all right here we go so we have okay so this pair they're dating this pair is getting straight up married wow kai i just saw what you did you truly are the april fool let's see what our third couple is like all right so birdie okay so both of these parties swiped right Here's what they're interested in. Birdie's interested if their bio is dating advice coach, Sigma male, future billionaire, crypto enthusiast, NFT connoisseur. Okay. And Ninja Moose swipes right when they see high Reddit karma, low credit score. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A lot of Reddit karma and not so high Reddit, uh, not so high credit score. That's interesting. Um, so Ninja's looking for a karma farmer. And Birdie, or Birdie's Nuts, is looking for a crypto bro. It's beautiful. <laughs> so they can get so these two can get in Reddit threads and Reddit fights um all the live long day together, right? They also sound like a, a fucking nightmare. Um, you know, to everyone else surrounding them. But audience, you know the drill. Ah! No! There you go. But audience, you know the drill. Um, it's up to you. Let's poll right now. Should they date? Should they not date? Or should they get Malweed? Go ahead and vote right now. The poll's open. Are we hearing wedding bells? Or should these two just do a quick little date? Just a quick little hookup. <laughs> uh, or should they stay far away from each other and not even consider the possibility of getting together? Ooh, interesting results here. We have two very different um, options uh, taking the lead here. Polar opposites, one might say. These two are either getting married or just not dating, which is hilarious. Also hilarious is how good this wine is. I'll tell you what. Having a gay old time with this uh, a slice of shard. <laughs> All right. Keep voting, you yahoos. Go ahead and vote. All right. Boy, oh, boy. Get those votes in. Three, two, one. Guess what? They're getting married. 50% of you, literally half of you said, screw it. Let's, you know, put a ring on it. Have them put rings on it. Right? Rings on all the fingers. All of their fingies. 20 rings for 20 fingies. <laughs> I, uh, congratulations, Birdie and Ninja Moose. 4371. Uh, sucks that all the other Ninja Mooses were taken, but you got there eventually. Congrats! I'm so, I'm so proud of not just this community. But of love. I'm proud of love triumphing over evil. And singledom. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Great. Should they date? Not date? Get married. Alright. I'm going to say we keep going. 
So those are just three. We have uh, 17 more couples, by the way, dear viewers. We have 17 more couples. Not a joke. 17 more couples here. We've only done three so far. All right. So here we go. Oh, hold on. Someone in the chat right, wrote, can we shout out single moms? Yeah. Uh, can we get a shout out to single working moms out there? All right. Because they're the real gamers. They're the real heroes. All right. Here we go. Sorry. Yeah. 17 more prospective couples. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's working moms. Fuck, I can never get that quote right. Here we go. All right, both of these parties swiped right. Here's what they're interested in. Bring them. <laughs> Bring back Luigi Thong as if it ever went anywhere. Swipes right for when they can only communicate through office quotes. It really shows how unique they are. <laughs> and Jman56 only swipes right if in their bio it says just a Pam looking for her gym. All right. Well, shit. <laughs> hmm. Um, gamers. We have two uh, chuggy basic bitches here. Should they stay far away from each other and not reproduce ever? Or should we just, should we take pity on these lost, wandering, hopeless souls and uh, hook them up, right? I, I leave it in your hands. Oh, someone just wrote, imagine the children's names. It'll be like, it'll be like the end of Harry Potter where it's like, you know, and this is my son, Snape, Albus, Dumbledore, Weasley or whatever the fuck. It'll be like that, but instead, and this is our this is our son, uh, Dwight, Pam, Schrute, Michael, Jim, Scott. It'll be something horrendous like that. Just every single name. I can't fucking wait. All right, here we go, gamers. And start poll. Boom. Go ahead and vote. Should they date, not date, or get married? Go ahead. Go ahead and vote right now. Uh, what should these gamers do? All right, now... Um, Right now, I'm just going to spoil it. It's uh, it's not even a little close, gamers. Uh, you guys are pushing very, very hard for one direction and one direction only for these hideous, hideous people above me. Get, get, these, get these votes in, gamers. Go ahead and vote. We have a poll open. I need to, you know what? I did something real bad. I forgot to copy and paste a really crucial uh, sound here just for the gamers. And it's this. Hold on. Everyone shut up. Shut up. Here we go. It's time. It's time to vote. Can you even hear that? Audio jungle. <laughs> and with the... Oh, let me turn that off and shut up. And with 110 votes, 63% of you said... These two idiots should go against all odds and get married. I hope they get married uh, somewhere far away in the deepest regions of Siberia because I don't want to be close to either of them if this is if this is what they do all day. If they're all like, hey, bestie. <laughs> what, if the, what if one of them goes, hey, soulmate, can you do your prison mic impression <laughs> for the billionth time? Oh, my God. Yep. Kill me. That sounds horrendous. Um, nothing wrong with The Office, by the way, but like, if liking The Office is your personality, if you make it your personality, you should be put in Siberia. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to turn up my Everybody Boat Now music. Just real quick. How's this? Is that better? Can you hear it? Is it too loud or is it too... Could it be even louder? No way. Slay. How about that? Is that too loud? Is that... Is that... Mm, he thinks I need more vote. <laughs> How's that? Louder? All right. I'll make it a little louder. Because uh, I can't hear it. I don't have the monitor thing on or whatever. But there you go. All right. All right. All right. We'll fucks with that. I can't believe, so, so far, gamers, so far, may I just point out, so far, everyone's either hooking up or getting married. 
pretty boring if you ask me. Excuse me. I think we should have some... Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> hey, there it is. What a neat trick. I didn't know I could make it disappear. Uh, that was pretty That was pretty cool. Mm. All righty. Gamers, it's time for your next coupling. All right. So play matchmaker for these next two wandering souls. So we have a mix here. One person swiped left and the other person swiped right. So level up swipes left, meaning they are not interested when they leak government secrets on the War Thunder forums. Hmm. And Mega Lizard swipes right, meaning they are interested when they know the location of Walt Disney's frozen head. Interesting. Okay, so we have two hardcore conspiracy theorists here. Well, actually, no, that's wrong. Someone, okay, Level Up doesn't like when they leak government secrets. So so they're not a conspiracy theorist. They're like, no, secrets should be secret for a reason. Mega Lizard's all like, no, hubba hubba, you know, tinfoil hat stays on during sex. Uh, so I'm actually, uh, yeah, I don't know what War Thunder is either, Beth. I'm, I'm lost. I haven't heard of War Thunder, and I, and I refuse to find out. But that's okay. Uh, cause it's not up to me. How do I repeat polls? Okay. Should they, but the dot date, not date, get married. All right, guys, guess what? You get vote right now. Votes are up. Here we go. Here we go. Um, oh, it's a game. Apparently War Thunder is a video game. That's funny. Leaking secrets on a, on a game forum. That's funny. I appreciate that. If that's what, if that's what that is, but go ahead and vote. Should these two date? Should they not date? Or should they just straight up get married? All right. We have um, 30 seconds left. Get those votes in right now. Should be visible. Should be visible here. <laughs> Someone wrote, this is debauchery or whatever. No, it is. This is, this is, this is I think, our least compatible pairing so far um, of the night. But we have many, many more. Um, bar chart looks like a dick. God bless. It does, doesn't it? It does. Interesting. Oh, not anymore. There you go. Um, the results are in. 80% of you voted no. These two should not date. And we finally have our first incompatible match of the night i'm sorry level up and mega lizard you are left to wander the deserts of singledom for all eternity or at least a little bit longer <laughs> um all righty <coughs> you ever <coughs> you ever get something in your nose sorry i thought it was like a uh, all right mm. hello is he d yeah, yeah 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 just die Look, I'm dying a little bit. We're fine. We're fine. Relax. All right. We're good. Okay. Let's make a new poll. <laughs> is that a Mucinex sponsor? I wish. Or Mucin... Uh, is it Mucinex or Mucinex? Should they... Dot, dot, dot. Date. Not date. Uh, Get married. Okay. There we go. Uh, Mucinex. Okay. Thank you very much, Lord Fudd. All right, gamers, it's time for your next one. Here we go. Let me just do this. I'll fade into it. Ooh, we have another. Um, we have another fun little mismatch. All right, so we have. So Lucas Bell swipes right and likes when they see them say, "My friends made me make this account." It's always a good thing. And Duncan swipes left, doesn't like. Uh, DM me on. Insert platform. Don't check Tinder that often. Hmm. Now this, this is an interesting pair. So Lucas is, Lucas gets, Lucas gets a little hubba hubba seeing someone um, admit that they made this account out of like peer pressure. Duncan doesn't like. D 
DM me on blank. Don't check Tinder. Okay. All right. So both of these. Okay. So both of these parties have an interest in not being interested in Tinder. That's kind of, right? That's kind of, or wait, am I? No, wait, that's not right. Duncan doesn't like, oh, I fucked up. Hold on. Duncan's like DM me on. Yeah. Duncan swipes left. Left is death. Right is tight. Left is death. That's how I remember it for Tinder. Swipes left. Don't check Tinder that often. All right. So Duncan's only interested in parties that do check Tinder often. Lucas likes. Sorry. There's a lot of like double negatives happening here kind of thing. This is like a you can't not not never ain't gonna not. A lot of that happening right here. And the wine certainly doesn't help. Also, can we get a shout out uh, to Chardonnay? Just real quick, just a quick shout out to Chardonnay. All right, this video is sponsored by Chardonnay. Can you imagine? Jacket ain't that deep. Look, I'm struggling here. Okay, I leave this up to you, and I leave it up to you right now. Go ahead and vote, gamers. Vote, 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 vote on whether vote, Lucas should vote, date Duncan. Vote, should Duncan vote, date Lucas? Vote, vote, What's happening? All right, where are we at? Join us in following Chardonnay. No. <laughs> what? What was that? I've never seen that before. What does that mean? All righty. Um. This is uh this is one of our closer ones we've had. Go ahead and vote gamers. The vote the votes are open right now. I don't want you guys missing a single poll. All right. Oh no, where to go? Hey. Uh, all righty. We have five seconds left to get your votes in. Get those magical votes in. All right. Get your little toesy woesies nice and wet in the in the, in the voting pool. Okay. 50, it was just pretty close. 56% of you said they should not date. 37% of you said they should date. So just a little more than half of you said they should not date. And they won't. These two will never meet each other. They'll never know. Um, oh, let me turn off the voting music. Shit. Let me, I have to say all that again. 56% of you said they should not date. 37% of you said they should date. So uh, these two are um, they are destined to stay single. Um, at least, so these two are destined to stay apart from each other uh, forever. That's what the poll designates. Um, oh, God. What if I forget to turn off the music? Oh, God. Did I, gamers, did I forget to turn off the vote music earlier? Or am I okay? I mean, like, in other in other situations. No? Okay. Thank God. Thank Duncan. Okay. All right. This is very important for the VOD. Okay. It's very important for the VOD. We do it for the VOD. Okay. Next up, gamers. Here is your next pairing. So both of these parties swiped right. Bring. Oh, nice. Bring back Luigi Thongs back. The return of Luigi Thongs swipes right. When they can only communicate through office quotes, it really shows how unique they are. Okay, we're just reusing the same one from Bring Back Luigi Thong. E.T. swipes right. Looking for a pim to my jam. <laughs> this sucks. Uh... So it's the same one from Luigi Thong. It's a different one from E.T. But like, it, you know, if you have dyslexia, then you're kind of fucked because it, it's very confusing. Very, very confusing. But no, this is a new one from E.T. So E.T. has entered the mix. So gamers. Oh, I didn't make the poll yet. <laughs> Should they date? Not. Oh, I forgot to record. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. The quality's fine. Get married. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, the qual. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, it's coming in and out. What's coming in and out? The quality. Hold on. What do you mean by that, Erica? <laughs> Uh, all right. Anyways, gamers, um, here, here's your poll and go. Okay. Go ahead and vote right now. Oh, the stream's going great. I can't believe I forgot to record again. I keep doing this. I keep doing this. I can't keep getting away with it. All right. Should these people get married? So bring back the Ouija thong has a weird religious experience. If you say something uh, from the office, but ET, ET is a uh, a bit of a scringly uh, blimbo. All right, ET is a bit of a a bit of a trickster and a bit of a prankster, a bit of a uh, bit of a G uh, peeves. I almost said Jeeves. <laughs> ET is just like Ask Jeeves. Oh my God! All righty, gamers, you only have a few more seconds left to get your votes in. Get those votes in. Wine on an empty stomach is never not um, a good time. Five, four, three, two, and there it is. Get married with 71%. Oh, I forgot the vote. 71% of all the votes went to get married. You guys think these people should get married. So you're kind of like down for E.T. torturing Luigi Thong. I kind of, I kind of love that. That's what they deserve. It's what both parties deserve, or at least Luigi Thong deserves that. So there it is. More <laughs> wives for Luigi Thong. Alrighty. I can't believe I forgot to record. I'm sorry, Kai. At least at least this one's not really... It's not like I'm playing fucking Elden Ring, right? This isn't really dependent on like 4K 60 frames quality, right? I think you'll be able to read that. Um, okay. Uh, should they dot dot dot. Date. Not date. There we go. All righty. Here we go, gamers. It is time for our next couple. This is couple eight out of 20. So we have one party swiping right, one swiping left. Billy Bob McGinty swipes right for anyone with a link to a fanfic they made in their bio. They're a keeper. Okay, a link to a fanfic they made in their bio. Interesting, okay. But Walt swipes left, dislikes, uh, when... Let me try that again. But Walt slight, But Walt slight. Wow, I can't talk. But Walt swipes left for this. Uh, if she doesn't link her top 10 Wattpad fan, fanfics, I don't even care. Sorry, there's so many typos in that. It's very hard to read that as intended. Um, how many percent is a shard? I'm going to say 15. <laughs> if she doesn't link her top 10 Wattpad fanfics, I don't even care. Okay. Okay. So we, so here gamers, we have two, um, very clear fanfic enthusiasts. Should they date? Should they get married? Or should they stay far away from each other and us here? Um, I leave it up to you. Guys, what's your favorite fanfic out there? Mine's Fifty Shades of Grey. I think that's the coolest fanfic. It's the only movie. Um, oh, that's not right. Um, I was going to say it's the only movie we walked out of, but that's not even true. We didn't walk out of it. We stayed the entire time. Aaron hated it. I was like, I don't know. It's kind of hot. But Aaron hated that movie. Um hated 50 shades of gray and we saw it in theaters we did we did um okay we're still getting those um get those oh it's close it's very close betwixt um uh dating and getting married go ahead and get those last votes in gamers all right you only have a few seconds left five seconds left ish more or less get those last votes in it's super close are they gonna date or get married what's it gonna be 
They're getting married with 46% of all the votes. Only six votes separated first and second place. Six votes. Six votes said these people should get. Never mind. They're getting married. I'm really happy for Billy Bob McGinty and Walt. You guys can write all the fanfic and all of the all of the Smash Bros fanfic. Did you know that one of the largest pieces of um of of non of non one of the largest pieces of fiction ever written is um about Smash Ultimate. It's true. Look it up. Um Oh, I forgot the voting music again. That's fine. I'm doing really well. Uh, yeah, I need. I clearly need more wine. Agreed. Agreed, Liam. All righty, here we go. Boop. Next up. Okay, we got a, a righty and a lefty. So, your local Liz swipes right for this. Obviously, the image of them holding the one fish they've ever caught in their life really shows how adventurous they've been. Mm, I detect... Me thinks I detect a hint of sarcasm. All right. And Long Dong Kong, great name, by the way, swipes left um, when they see people who aren't interested with a big old fish I caught in the profile pic. Okay. Very interesting coupling here. Interesting coupling here. And again, a couple of double negatives happening. Um... So, local Liz loves a good old fish holder. Long Dong Kong hates people who aren't impressed with the big old fish. All right. So, we have a pair of fish here. What do you call a pair of fish? That's right. You just call them fish. We got a pair of fish lovers here. Local Liz, Long Dong Kong. What are we doing? Are we grouping these two together? Or not? Should they dot 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 date? I'm gonna mix up the order a, a bit. And boom, start the poll. Go ahead and vote, gamers. Go ahead and vote. Here's your voting music. It'll be a you know what? I need to hear this. I need to hear my voting music. Oh, well. All right, everybody vote now. As long as you can hear it, that's fine. Uh, what are these two parties doing? Do we have... Um... Oh, I didn't even see like how the votes are coming in. All right. Okay, so my strategy works. I need to rearrange the, uh, the polling options more often. It is like a dead tie for second place. There seems to be like one uh, leading answer here, but it is kind of a dead tie for second place. It's very interesting. Oh no, the fanfic was for Brawl? I thought the fanfic was for uh, Ultimate. Ah, uh, I truly have egg on my face. And it looks like these two lovebirds are getting married with a whopping 47% of all the votes. They can both brag about all the big fish they've caught over the years. Uh, good for them, I say. You know, uh, personally, bestie, hate fishing. Can't think of a more boring thing to do. Hate fishing, hate the smell, uh, just hate waiting, you know? Uh, gonna have to pass fam. Love snorkeling. Snorkeling's cool, but just put me on a boat. You know, even with all the beers in the world, you can't make interesting, you can't make fishing interesting to me. You just can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, fuck. I forgot the voting music. <laughs> this is going very well. This is going really well. Okay. How do I hear the music? Because this is driving me nuts. If I do this... I can't hear it. Why can't I hear it? Interesting. Because I don't have the mic plugged. Oh my god, I don't have this. Oh my god. I had my output on the wrong thing this whole time. Now I can hear it. God damn it. Okay. All right, gamers. I'm going to do all of that again. Um, I'm going to pretend I'm seeing the polling results for the first time. Now the music's off. Okay, here we go. And wait, I forget what one. 
Uh, I forget which one won. Getting married. Okay. And with 47% of the votes, uh, these two lovebirds are getting married. And they get to exchange all of the big fish tails um, they want for the rest of their miserable, wet, slimy lives. That's right. They're as slimy as the, the fish they've claimed to have caught. I just can't. I can't. I can't relate to, um, I, I don't know why I'm doing, I can't relate to uh, fishing enthusiasts. Just can't do it. I think fishing's boring. That's my hot take. Let me know in the comments below if you two think fishing is a boring hobby. All right. I almost called it a sport. It's very much, it's not a sport. No. Uh, fishing's boring. I'm putting my foot down. All right. All the beers in the world couldn't make fishing interesting to me. We just stay on a boat all day and wait for them to come to you. Snorkeling, that's my, that's my, that's my king. Fishing, boo, pass, zero out of ten. There we go. Okay. That's for the VOD gamers. Thank you for putting up with that. I can't believe, okay. Let me just make sure. Boat. Yeah, I can, and I can absolutely hear it. Jesus Christ. I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. Okay. Common Boomer L. Okay, that's ages, actually. So, egg on your face. New question. Should they dot, dot, dot. Um, should they get married? Not date. Date. There we go. Okay. This VOD's going to be hilarious. No, this VOD's going to be miserable. <laughs> I've ruined the VOD. <laughs> All right. Uh, gamers, we only have a few left. I'm kidding. We actually, we have 11 left. We have 11 couples left. All right. So strap in, strap on in. And here we go. Speaking of strap ons, here we go. Boom. Both of these people swiped right. That means they're both interested. Um, or that means we're going to see two interests here on Tinder. So Maui, here's what Maui swipes right for. My lack of hand-eye coordination Sorry for matching with you. I didn't mean to do that. No, I am not interested in your Funko Pop collection. Please leave me alone. I like that, so it's like a little mistake. Um, and Noah, Noah swipes right for this. When she has an extensive, when she has an extensive Funko Pop collection. Zoinks! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So uh so um one person is not is very much not interested in the Funko Pops. The other person, it's kind of like their personality. So gamers, I leave it up to you. What do we do with this couple? Do we pair them up or do we separate them for good? Go ahead and vote boat, right now. Boat, there it is. Boat, boat, now boat, I can hear. Boat, 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 I can actually boat, hear. Boat, 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 Everybody vote now. Boat, boat, I'm so sorry, boat, gamers. Boat, 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 boat. All righty, so the power is in your hands, by the way, guys. You have the power here to match people up. You have the power to change lives. You really do. It's all up to you. And we're, get, we're getting another really cool cock and balls here with the uh, with the bar with the with the bar graph here. I must say. Um, keep voting though. Maybe it could change. All right, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. Sixty-two percent of you said no. Keep these two people far away from each other. And um, I agree. I think it'd be fun to like, you know do like a whole like now kiss thing with them but that'd be cruel that'd be evil so noah maui uh you are not compatible uh do not date and um let noah enjoy their funko pops all on their lonesome maui all right you don't get to yeah you don't get to you don't get to enjoy shut up jay jay in the chat just wrote jack the music song please i i know for a fact it isn't how dare you? How dare you meddle with an old man's um, decrepit, decaying, um, deteriorating mind? How dare you? You think this is a game? You think this is a joke? This is what I do. 
How dare you? We do a bit of trolling, said Beth. Smugly, I assume. Disgusting. All righty. Nice combo of adjectives. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, what can I say? I'm a real reader. Haven't read a book in like 20 years, but you know. <laughs> JK. No, I read tweets. That's the same thing. New poll. Should they? Date? Get married? Not date. All right. All righty. Who needs reading when you can be a gamer? Liam, that's the funniest thing you've ever said. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, cheers. All right, guys. I'm pleased as punch to tell you we are at the halfway point. We have 10 more couplings here. All right, so put on your matchmaking hats. I need your input. You have the power to tell me if this next couple should get together or not. Boop. Not this couple. We already did it. This couple. All right. We have two opposing directions here. So eat a shrimp swipes right and are interested in this. When their bio says that they're a Discord mod and then a whole bunch of unnecessary emojis. Blue Jay is not interested when they're not hairy enough. I wonder why the cat I wonder why the council coupled these two together. <laughs> I'm I'm fascinated by this. All right. When their bio says they're a Discord mod, or when they're not hairy enough. Okay. Interesting strat. Do you know that Aaron um, does not like my, my chest hair? I know. I know. Like, she's always telling me, like, it's time to shave. And I'm like, you know what? No, I wear it proudly. It's It's who I am. And just all the gamers out there, uh, stay true to yourself. Stay true to who you are. Okay. Um, I'm just. I. I just want to. I just want to throw that in there. Um, as a proud Harry Discord mod, I just want to put my two cents in there. Okay. But I do shave because I. You know, happy wife, happy life. You know what I'm saying, gamers. Alrighty, it's time. It's time for a poll. Boom. Go ahead and vote right now. Go ahead and vote. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Everybody vote now. Are we pairing these two people up? Should they date? Should they more than date? Or should they not date? You tell me. And don't tell me in the chat. Tell me in the votes. Tell me in the polls. Pokemon, go to the polls and tell me if Ina Shrimp and Blue Jay should date, get married, or not date at all. That's right, Mushroom Pal. More than date means get married. Music sale, baby time. <laughs> uh, angry birds, go to the... <laughs> That's the best thing I've seen all night. Angry Birds, go to the polls. Uh, and we have our results. 48% of you said they should get married. Congrats to Eat a Shrimp and Blue Jay. I, I don't know why I'm, you didn't do anything. But you guys should get married, allegedly. Um, and don't worry, 39% of you said they should at least date. So we have a perf we have a beautiful match here. We have a beautiful pairing here. Uh, so we have a hairy person. And we have a Discord mod enthusiast at the very least. Um, and you know what? Birds of a feather. Love that. New poll. Should they get married? Date? Not date. Alrighty. Gamers. Gamers, it's time. It's time for the next poll. It's time for your next couple. Let's introduce our next couple here. And both of them swiped left, by the way. Both parties swiped left. Not interested in. So, Pumpkin... Terrible name. Pumpkin Bum... Pumpkin Bum Plays swipes left for this scenario. If they have a picture with the horse, horse girls are crazy and expensive. <laughs> Damn. 
Cat and Tanks swipes left for this scenario. If they talk about our Heavenly Father or horses. Ooh. So both parties have a strong dislike for horse people. All right. Both parties have a strong dislike for horse enthusiasts. Now, is that enough for them to date? Is that enough of a personality trait to pair him up? Or is that basic and chuggy? Is that like, hey, get in, li get in line, you know? Horse people are crazy. But, Bestie, we already knew that. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to let you guys, um, I'm going to let you vote right now. Go ahead and vote. Should these two parties, should they go on a horse, uh, or should they, are both of these, should these parties tour the horse glue factory? In holy matrimony? Or should they just troll horse girl forum separately forever? I'll let you I'll let you decide. Horse for sale, never glued. Uh, I'm very curious. Where are we at? Oh my gosh. Another cock and balls in the poll. <laughs> very cool. 10 seconds left, everyone. 10 seconds. Very interesting results here. I actually quite like the diversity here. Everybody vote. And with two thirds of the vote, 66% of you said, hey, they should date at least. And I like that. I like that you, I like that you had the wherewithal. Um, to understand when a couple to recognize when a couple should get married versus when they should merely date you chat you put your foot down and said no um it's it's too simple to say people should get married um it takes much more uh intellectual fortitude to say mm, maybe just date maybe just date and see where it goes from there and i like that we like that we appreciate that so there you go we have two um, two people who share not similar interests, but similar disinterests, similar dislikes. Um, and, uh, they will not, um, they can, they can throw, uh, rotten fruit at horse people together. That's a good first date idea, by the way. Go to a, oh, there's, that's a great first, that's a great first date idea. Go to your local library and or bookstore um, find the, uh, horse section, right? The horse fiction section and, uh, just throw stuff at people who, who peruse and wander the horse fiction section together because it's really fun to bond with someone, uh, when you both hate the same thing. So there it is. Okay. New poll. Should they not date? Get married, date. Okay. Gamers, it's time for another coupling. All right. I have a brand new couple for you. And I need you guys to judge on whether they should uh, get together or not. All right. So here it is. Your next couple. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's bring back Luigi Thong for like the 13th time. Oh, my God. So once again, we are reminded that Luigi Thong is interested in when they can only communicate through office quotes really shows how unique they are. Just in case you forgot. Okay. All right. But wet bread swipes left for me. This is left. I guess camera left wet bread swipes left. They're not interested in this. Literally any shitty joke about <laughs> look for the gym to my pan. Get some, <laughs> get some real taste. You walking mayonnaise. E yikes. And also a breath of fresh air. Nice truth. You know, it's good to have truth mixed in with, um, you know, the riffraff. So that's really interesting. So wet bread, wet bread, um, is, uh, very much against everything Luigi thong is into, but sometimes opposites attract gamers. And let me, you know, like sometimes it's not, Sometimes it's not your interests that attract people, but the chemistry. So what do you think? Do you think, is it like magnets, right? Where we have the, the office quote.
quoting loving party on one end of the magnet and the um the mayonnaise hating end of the magnet is it a match or should they stay away from each other guess what you get to tell me right now go ahead and vote what should these parties do should they date not date or get married extremely interesting results extremely delicious wine oh and it's gone and it's back remember that time where um i like ruined almost ruined the vod by not turning off the music because i couldn't hear it remember the time i forgot to record the stream so that i could send this to my editor and now my editor is gonna have to download the stream from from the source and it'll look fine it'll be fine but you know it could have been really fine and i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry get those votes in though what are these parties doing are they not dating are they getting married oh and we have our results with ooh, this was kind of close 52 percent of the whole crowd said no these two parties should not date so we do not have a match here gamers and that's fine sometimes you got to kiss a few frogs to find your gym <laughs> you see what i did there uh but no you have to date you have to know what you don't like to find someone you like all right so let you know let's not dwell on our mismatches and our mispairings all right we shouldn't dwell on that we should instead embrace them so there you go okay all righty someone said lay off the wine you got it laying off now okay we have another we have another pairing for you guys okay we promise it's the last one i don't believe you for a second erica the suck up i don't believe you guys for a fucking second all you do is troll me um okay we have our, we have a new couple for you guys and here we go so hot sauce swipes left not interested in this when he looks just like my husband <laughs> he yuck and gun invalid swipes right is interested when they look strikingly like my wife this is really okay this is really playing with my head i don't have the intellectual wherewithal to fully grasp all of the double negatives and and, and twists going on here hold on <laughs> When he looks like my husband, that's a that's a yuck. When they look like my wife, that's a turn on. What do we do here? Do we put them together? So, okay. When they look like my wife, that's cool. When they look like my husband, that's not cool. I have no idea. I have no I have, I'm not smart enough to figure this out. Are you smart enough to figure this out? Cuz I'm clearly not. That's why I'm leaving it up to you i have to make the poll first um should they there we go and start poll guys go ahead and vote it's time to vote go check out check the check the voting thing all right Beth writes, Jack, do you like pina coladas? Um, I like the taste of them, but I don't really, I don't think I've had a pina colada in like years. It's been a long time since I've had a proper pina colada, just because the alcohol content is so low, Beth. The taste is great. You know what I like? Oh, it went away. I like Malibu. Malibu's great. Malibu's, Malibu's just fine. Oh, I didn't, oh, you didn't get the reference? I know the song. Does anyone know the song? Or does anyone know who did the... Did anyone... Um, Wait. Yeah. Oh, I know what the song's about. Isn't the song about, like... 
Isn't the song about when they? I know what the song. I know what the song's about. I know exactly what the song's about. Hold on. First, I'll I'll get right back to you in a second, haters. All right. They're getting married. Congratulations, hot sauce and gun invalid. Sixty percent of you said, "Oh, oh, do let's let's get let's marry the two. and that's beautiful." Um. And by the way, I do know what that song is about, all right? The chat was trolling me saying, mm, hey, Jack, do you like pina coladas? Mm. And yeah, I know what it's about. It's about one party putting an ad in, like, the classifieds or um, whatever I, you know, um, they're putting an ad uh, and they're interested in, like, another, you know, party, right? And the song concludes when the when the man's wife or the wife's husband, I forget, um, they meet up through the ads, um, right? Despite already being married, obviously. Uh, and so they, you know, it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful reunion. The song is about beautiful reunions. <laughs> um, so yeah. So nice try. I know what it's about. Okay. Pina coladas flaming. <laughs> ah, that is pina colada splaining. Absolutely. Alrighty. Oh my god. Okay, new poll. Is any of this gonna be usable for the VOD? <coughs> I don't even know. Uh, Kai says no. Kai, Kai, the editor, is, just said straight up no. Uh, Liam disagrees. Liam thinks it will be very usable. We'll find out. All right. I just need a little more wine. Okay, here we go. Next couple. Okay. We have someone swiping right and someone swiping left. So, Ashy Vivo who is on yay yeah, yeah yai jesus christ ash ashy vivo is on yai swipes right for this when we share the same last name it makes marriage a lot easier agreed um yeah i forgot how to say yeah <laughs> oh my god i'm literally everyone else who who whenever they see the word yai they don't know how to say it like whenever I'm on a podcast and someone's like not really familiar with my stuff and they're like, so Jack, with your yay series, with, and they sometimes they spell it out. It's so like, Jack, when you do um, Y-I-A-Y, do you? And I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> I'm them. I just turned into them. Jack, when you do an episode of yay -I -E, um, are you proud of yourself? That's like, that's. Every single like, and guys, don't forget to check out uh, Jack's very funny. I, I was just watching you on YouTube, Jack, and I love the series you do on YouTube. It's called Yay Yay, -Ye. um, and you know we just, m me and the kids, we just crack up on. Um, how, am I saying that right? Yay Yay -ye -ye? is that right? Am I saying that? Oh my god, I just turned into them. Oh my god, I turned into your substitute teacher when I can't pronounce your name correctly. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Um, and then, oh, why is that stretched out? Or is it, oh, it is stretched out on purpose, sorry. And Ben Palmer is not very impressed when they don't share my last name. Ooh, oh no, oh no, dear viewers and gamers. Oh my gosh. Oh no. What do we do here on the AI? Uh, or however the fuck you say it, because I clearly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh stinky what are we doing gamers um so uh someone i mean it, it, it seems pretty obvious to me but ashley vivo loves when you share the last name ben palmer's like mm, pass ben palmer literally swipes left uh when you don't have the same uh palmer name what do we do go ahead and vote right now gamers <laughs> The choice is yours, and yours alone. I'm not even going to show you. Yeah, it disappeared. I knew that would happen. And it's back. What are we doing, gamers? Go ahead and vote. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna think about you. Think about how much more wine I need. I can't believe I forgot to record this. It's fine. It's whatever. But I'm really disappointed in myself. All right, guys, you have about 25 seconds or so. Get those votes in. Are these people marrying each other? Are they dating? Or are they never dating again? Just get the whole bottle at this point. Man, I wish. All right, three, two, one. And that's it, that's time, that's time. Uh, I'm really disappointed. 68% of you, for shame, uh, voted get married. So Ashy Vivo and Ben Palmer, I love that. Wow, you both are going to be miserable for eternity, for the rest of your stinking lives, allegedly. Wow, wow, wow. That's, you. no, you will not be a happy couple. But them's the rules. That's what the count... That's what the chat voted for. So, uh, go for it. But the family reunion. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, my God. It's an incest joke. I didn't even get that. I... Until, I didn't get that until people in the chat started saying, like, you know, Alabama. I did not get that there was an in incest joke. Oh, no. I I just thought it was just, like, can, I just thought it was funny. Oh, my God. I thought it was funny that, like, I only date people who share my last name. Like, it's a common last name or something. No. I mean, you want to keep it in the family. Oh, my God. What is happening to <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no. Um I need to put myself down. This is bad. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Wow. Bro is so drunk he forgot incest exists. I mean a little genuinely. Half of the jokes I feature on Yay Aye are incest jokes. Oh, my God. And I couldn't even. Oh, uh, wow. Mm. I think it's time to, like, um, hire my replacement. <laughs> Just someone younger and sharper can host. Um, uh, they can host Yay. Yay the show. Why? Y Y-A-I-Y. Oh, man. All right. Well, I need to go to the vet uh, and get myself put down. <laughs> uh, there you go. Kyoya. I love that. Pinned by Kyoya. Wow. How power hungry. That's, you know what? That's going to be my next Yai question. Who should replace me as the host of Yai? I'm legit going to do that. Like, I need... I need to do that. I'm, you know what? Everyone shut up and fuck you. I'm going to write down. Um, uh, I have like a folder for video ideas. I'm going to write down who should replace me for Yai Live because I am clearly not fit anymore to host it. Uh, who should host? Not even Yai. Just Yai. Who should host Yai? Okay. There you go. Shane Dawson. Great answer, chat. Really good answer. Jesus. Oh my god. Alrighty. Here we go, gamers. Um gamers, it's time for Oh, Beth writes Obama. Alrighty, here we go. It is time. Thank you, Liam. Here we go. Um, it's time for our next one. Uh, we have, oh man, if you guys knew what I knew about certain YouTubers you keep mentioning, oh my goodness gracious. Alrighty, but I won't. I'm not that drunk. Well, okay. 
Here we go, gamers. It is time. It is time for our next pairing here. Okay? Here we go. Should we match up these two people? All right. It's time to play matchmaker for this next couple. Mike swipes left, not interested, when they have all 10 of their toes. Mm. Eli swipes right when they think, I could fix that. Hmm. Interesting. We have, excuse me, we have quite the, um, we have quite the conundrum here. Mike doesn't like when they have all 10 of their toes. Mike craves imperfection, right? Eli craves imperfection as well. Eli, Eli is that lovely toxic trait of, I could fix that person. And Mike doesn't like regular normal people. What do you think, gamers? Do we have a match here? Oh, God. I have to make the poll. New poll. And go for it. Time to vote right meow. Votes open. Go ahead and vote. Everybody vote now, all right? Go ahead and get your votes in, gamers. Get your votes in. Should these parties date? Not date? Marry? I forgot to order dinner. Fuck. I need to order dinner. Get those votes in, gamers. <clears throat> what should what should Mike and Eli do? We have one answer. Oh, just dropped in the per in a percentile. Dropped one percentile. I'm gonna reorder what I got last night because I'm boring. But there we go. All right, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Forty not just shy of half of all the votes went to date. We have another very conservative result here. You guys said, mm, marriage is a bit too strong for these two, but we could at least fix them up on a little, on a little meet cute date. Um, also, I'm just noticing, <clears throat> oh, phlegm. <clears throat> also, I'm just noticing that uh, Eli got almost 300 likes on their YouTube comment. That's disgustingly high. A lot of people are down for the, I could fix them mentality. Very interesting, very interesting. Um, also, Dry Itchy Scalp just resubbed for 39 months. That's crazy. Thank you very much, Dry Itchy Scalp. This is my wife. <laughs> um, okay. So, we have a new poll. Um, what should they do, lol? Not date. Marry. Date. Okay. Guys... Gamers, we only have four couples left, all right? So I need you to put all your brain cells together for these four couples. Boom. All right. We have opposing directions. Mr. Sharp. Mr. Sharp will swipe right when they see three little words, waiting till marriage. Walt swipes left, doesn't like... If they're open to get married on the first date. Oh, sorry. Misread that. Completely misread that. Let me try that again. Walt swipes left. Is not interested if they aren't open to get married on the first date. Ooh. Ooh. So we have two, uh, um, dare I say it, we have two eager beavers here. Uh, both, very in much, both very much interested in marriage. Oh, someone in the chat just wrote, ah, the loophole. That's true. That's very, very true. <laughs> so Mr. Sharp, Mr. Sharp is holy and religious and says, ah, 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 not till marriage. And Walt's like, well, then let's just bypass that whole, uh, you know, waiting thing and just get married now so we don't have to wait, you know? So are we playing 3D, 4D chess with these two players, right? 
or is this not a good match? I leave it up to you, gamers, right now. Go ahead and vote. What should they do, lol? Right? And shout out to It's Me, Hudson, uh, for following the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Aaron, I didn't know you were. <laughs> I didn't realize Aaron's here. I just saw your comment saying, I leave you for a day, and apparently you stop eating. Okay. First off, I start the stream at 6 p.m., Aaron. All right, look me in the eye. Look me in the eye right now, okay? I'm talking to Aaron and no one else. I, uh, yeah. Um, I start the stream at 6. That's too early for me to eat dinner, okay? It's a very awkward time for me to like, wh wh where does dinner fit in? Aaron, all right, hold on, I have a show to do. Wait, Aaron, listen to this. This is gonna blow your mind, ready? This is gonna blow your mind because 87% of you said they should marry. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even a little close. This is pretty ridiculous, gamers. Nearly nine tenths of all of you, uh, set aside your differences and agreed upon marrying these two parties, Walt and Mr. Sharp, um, just so they could get past that pesky little loophole um, and, uh, you know, do the deed. And if that's not love, oh, I love that. Aaron, Aaron continues, step one, convince them a prenup is necessary. Oh, hold on. It, oh, bup, bup, bup. I'm trying to scroll and it's, very hard. Oh, shit. Hold on. Where'd it, where'd it go? <laughs> Step one. Convince them. Step one. Convince them a prenup is unnecessary. Step two. Get married. Step three. Divorce and take all their money. Oh, that's devious. That's, um. Wait a second. Do I have a prenup? Oh, no. Is that what all those hours long talks for four when you were like oh honey we don't need that we don't need a complicated prenup don't worry your pretty little head about it is that what that was for aaron shit well i'm screwed oh no gamers <laughs> looks like i just learned the hard way um anyways gamers we have three more couples left all right look Everyone stop paying attention to Aaron and pay attention to me, damn it, okay? Uh, it's time for one of our final couples here. Uh, meow. Oop, didn't press the button. All right, both of these parties swiped left. And here's what they swipe left upon, okay? It's, uh, it's Locky New Zealand swipes left for this. Must be over six feet. A short kings need some loving too. Right? Don't leave out the short kings. Also, all right. You can't just say that everyone under six feet is a short king. I don't I don't really appreciate that umbrella you've put all of us under. You know, I feel like that's very limiting. And and frankly, ableist and a little offensive. And uh mods, can we ban it's lock it's locky New Zealand, please? Thank you very much. Uh and then we have Nyx. Who swipes left dislikes this when they're over six feet tall. Logistically, I'm 5'2". I'm not looking for getting arthritis in my neck. Interesting pairing here. Very interesting pairing. So we have a short king and someone who doesn't like tall people. Someone who's kind of a short uh, queen, if I'm going to assume, uh, themselves. Very interesting. So is this a short match made in heaven, gamers? Or um, or are we going to be like that uh, Randy Newman song called Short People Have No Reason to Live? Google it. It's real and kind of catchy. That's your homework tonight. Google the song Short People Have No Reason to Live. It's made by the same guy who did the Toy Story soundtrack. I'm not even a little joking. All right. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> Boop. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's just called Short People. I'm sorry. Should they marry, date, not date, and, oh no, let's make, let's mix it up, 
not date, date. And game on, gamers. Boom. Go ahead and vote. And thank you for uh, Guga Foods for subbing to me. I appreciate that. Thank you for the Twitch sub. But back to the poll. What are these people doing? What are these short kings and queens doing here this evening? Are they going to marry each other? Are they going to at least date? Or are you going to... Are you going to uh, uh, put the ban hammer on these people and be like, ah, 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 I don't think so. You let me know, gamers, because you have all the power here. What do you think? You have about 20 seconds left, give or take. I don't have an exact figure in front of me. I just see a little bar meter sliding across the screen. And given my uh, powers of, uh, you know, observation, I can surmise how many seconds we have, give or take, left of a vote. I'm going to say you have seven seconds left. Yes, that's how long I've been doing this. Uh, three, two, one. Gamers, 51% of you, the, the legal requirement for a majority said these two parties should marry. And guess what? They just got married. I just got up, oh, up. Oh. Uh, I just got news that that Lockie and Nyx married each other uh, yesterday. Can we get can we get some confetti and some congratulatory music? Because I'm proud for these short kings and queens um, getting married. It makes me kind of tear up and cry a little bit. You know, I'm proud of them and I'm proud of us. Okay, um, can you say we did it, Reddit? Mm, yeah, we did. Uh, we did it, gamers, and we did it, Reddit. Okay, guys. We have two more pairings left, okay? We have two more couplings left. Let's do it. Here is your penultimate matchup. KGB officer swipes right and likes this. The Shrek 5 trailer already is in my mouth. Ooh. I kind of like that too. Sorry, honey. But uh, mm, me thinks it's hot in here. And Shadow Arf Trooper swipes left and dislikes this. Looking for the Fiona to my Shrek. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, guys. And this is true. Aaron just wrote. Aaron just wrote. Guys, hurry up. Jack needs to join me for the finale of Love Without Borders. And I'm currently on East Coast time. Um. Aaron and I are currently obsessed with this absolute trash reality show called Love Without Borders. Um, it's kind of funny. It's one of those like dating, like coupling shows where they couple people up. The funny thing is, and the reason I keep watching it is because none of the couples like each other. Everyone fucking hates each other. And it's really fucking funny and cathartic. And it makes me feel uh, joy. Um, and the season finale is, t well, it was yesterday, but we're watching it tonight. So that's why Aaron's like, hurry up so we can watch this finale. It's actually, it's very important to us gamers. Okay. Uh, do the Irish guy impression. <laughs> okay. So just real quick. Every, so it's all these people in America. It's all these hopelessly single people in America. And so the a matchmaker, she fucking sucks, by the way. The matchmaker for the show sucks. But she shows up and she's like, hey, we found your match. They're in this country. <laughs> um, and <laughs> And she's like, don't, we're going to, we're going to tell you to, we're going to give you a visa, a temporary visa or whatever to move to, to stay in this country that you don't even know you're moving to for 90 days. We're going to make you live in with this, this partner that we think will be a good match for you. Right. Uh, and so they paired this one person, this one woman from, I think Montana, I want to say they pair this one woman from Montana with this guy in Galway, Ireland. And at first, at first, there's a lot of chemistry. At first, you think like, oh, my God, they're going to get married by day 10. They have 90 days together. They're going to get married like instantly. And it's really fucking funny because you find out that he's a bit of a piece of shit. Um, and he laughs way too much. Red flag. Red flag. He laughs way too much at things that aren't funny. He's one of those nervous laughter guys. All he does is like, thank you, Dan. Her name is Dana from Montana. Thank you, Dryachi Scout. Um. Uh, so Dana from Montana moves to, to Galway, Ireland to, uh, meet this, this Irish lad. And all he does is just like nervous laugh. He says weird, like, he's like, he's a chicken farmer, right? Um, and this is real. Like, so he tends to his chickens and he's like, 
Well, I don't think like imagine with a more Irish accent, and he laughs all the time. It's like it's not funny, but he's like. <laughs> so are you ready to tend the chickens? <laughs> and it's like, why would you laugh? That's not funny, right? And so he's like, you know, boy, you got your hands dirty there, didn't you? <laughs> and it's like, stop laughing. It's not like, what are you doing? And then like people make like weird snide comments about her at the pub. And he like laughs along like someone t- like she's tall, like she's not big, but she's tall. So some some other Irish person walks in on the two of them. Right. And says to the Irish guy, the guy from Galway says to him, like, if you can't lift her, don't thrift her or something like that. Right. Some kind of like, hey, let's fucked up kind of comment. And what does the Irish guy do? <laughs> if you can't lift her, don't her. <laughs> that's what he does. It's incredible. And that's why I keep watching the show. Cause it's fucking incredible. <laughs> it's just, it's that nervous laughter. And then she later confronts him. She's like, Hey, why'd you fucking laugh at that? Um, that fat joke essentially. And he's like, oh, I didn't laugh at that. I, was, I, 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 didn't, I, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> um, it's incredible. Oh yeah. How about when he told her she was a five? Sorry. Last thing. I know you guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Last thing about the show. <laughs> so on like day 50 of 90, they've spent, they've spent 50 days of their lives living together. Right. Um, and so he finally tells her, um, you know, on a scale, on a scale out of 10, you know, when he first, this is him talking to her. And by the way, she's fine. She looks great. She looks fine. Um, when you first came in, um, you know, to me, you were like a 2.5, but now you're like a five <laughs> out of 10. Uh, that was like an attraction scale, right? So, uh, yeah, things are looking really good for the, for the, for the couple in Ireland. Right. And that's why I love this show. That's why I love this show because every couple's really messy and every couple is miserable. Every couple fucking hates each other. And it's like, Hey, weird idea. Maybe don't blindly move to a different country. Uh, cause some shitty matchmaker paired you up. Oh my God. The matchmaker fucking sucks at her job, dude. Uh, anyways, it's incredible. Go so check out Love Without Borders. I think it's Peacock. It was on Peacock. I don't know where we watch it on. Um, it's just it's fucking ex- it's it's incredible. And so, anyways, that's why I need to I need to finish this up. Are you hate watching it? No, I'm kind of love watching it. Thank you, Dry Itchy Scout. Okay, right. So back to back to the thing. Sorry, Kai. Uh, <laughs> All right, so just a refresher, just a refresher, right? Um, the Shrek 5 trailer already is in my mouth, swipes right. They swipe right for um, Shrek 5, and Shadow Arf Trooper swipes left for looking for the Fiona to my Shrek. So they don't like that. Interesting. Uh, chat, I leave it up to you, uh, and I'm going to just um, – oh, I have to start a new poll. Damn it. Should they date, not date? Mary and go ahead and vote right vote, now. Vote, what are these two people vote, doing? Vote, 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 what a sidetrack. All right, vote, but go ahead and vote. vote There's a vote, vote right now. Vote, 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 Get those votes in. Interesting. Uh, we have another big dick tiny balls going on. That was actually my uh, my rapper name. In the aughts, it was big, thick, tiny balls, and I had bars. But enough about me. You have 30 seconds left. What should these people do? Should they date? Should they marry? Or should they not date at all? All right, about 10 seconds left. Me thinks. 10 seconds left. Nope, make that four, three. Oh my god, Shrek 5 canceled road. Shrek is dead. Um, actually, uh, you're a fool. Watch watch Puss in Boots too. And with 76% overwhelming majority of the votes going to not date, these two people should not hook up. They shouldn't they shouldn't even like get coffee together. Keep these two polar opposites far and away from each other. They are unsalvageable. Um, and I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, you guys can call it. You guys call it as you see it. All right, gamers. 
I lied. I thought there were 20 slides. There are 21 slides, meaning we have two more couplings. Aaron, I'm so sorry. You can do two more, right? We'll make it quick. Two more couplings. All right. Two more couplings, but we got to get through it because we got to figure out what's happening. All right. 20. Yeah, yeah. The word FUD. 21. That's right. We have 21. Here we go, guys. All right. Boom. Bredo boss swipes right and likes when they've already swiped left on me. Love a girl with standards. Ooh, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I like that. Um, and a mess swipes left and dislikes when they've already swiped right on me. Bad taste is a red flag. Ooh, interesting pair here. Okay. Oh my gosh. So both of these already have really low opinions of themselves. Um, and they're looking for people who can recognize that. Me thinks we have a similar interest, but what do you think, gamers? I'ma let you I'ma let you No, it's not a fucking incest joke. Shut up. It's not an incest joke. I missed the one incest joke. Don't you dare tell me. Uh new poll, who dis? Mary. No date or date. And go ahead and vote. vote. What are these two vote. people doing? Vote. 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 What are these two people vote. doing? Vote. Aaron, don't you dare leave. You're stuck with me. You're stuck with me forever, babe. What are these two people doing? Alrighty. Ooh. Toxically unburdened. <laughs> Alrighty. We don't have a dick and balls. We have a very different um, uh, group of results here. In fact, it's kind of leaning heavily towards dating. Have you guys seen all these emotes? You should become a, a Twitch subscriber to my channel and spam all these sexy emotes here. We got Pooty Epic. We got a lot of faces. It's kind of cool. Look at all those. Alrighty, guys. We have the results. The results are in. I'm done stalling. 65% of you said date, date, date. Let these two lovebirds at least meet and date. All right. Not sure about marriage. You're not quite sure about marriage. And I get that. I respect that. But you think at the very least, you know, hit each other up uh, for a coffee. Um, and they can both converse about their low, low standards and their low opinions of themselves. Um, and they can both call each other pieces of shit to their faces. Uh, and that's a beautiful thing. You know what else is a beautiful thing? Let me just get the right tab open. You know, you know what else is a beautiful thing? Let me try again without slurring my words so much. <clears throat> you know what else is a beautiful thing? This is the final coupling. So gamers, if you have not voted yet tonight, I urge you, I beg of you. I'm on my knees. You can't see it, but I'm on my knees right now begging you to vote one last time for this final coupling me here because this final coupling we have here, I accidentally a word. Wow, that's funny. Um, and you have, just like always, you have three options for this final couple, all right? Should they date? Should they not date? Or should they get married? All right, I leave it up to you. I don't even know what this next final couple is so let's go right now here we go our final couple of the night jess swipes left and dislikes when he has a body pillow of a trash character at least make it a character worth my time and bray boy swipes right and likes anyone with a waluigi body pillow all right, so this is this is a matter of opinion. All right, are we do you, are we saying that Waluigi is a good body pillow? Is Waluigi a good character for for a body pillow, or is Waluigi a trash character? This is the hardest choice yet, and I think a perfect one to end on. All right, all of the stakes lie. Ooh, Poopa Stinky has a Waluigi body pillow. Uh, Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't lift her, don't thrift her. <laughs> can we get a shout out to Galway, Ireland? Let's go. Um, 
Okay, Nogale actually does slap, but that guy doesn't slap so much. Um, should they? Date. No date. Or marry. And gamers, I leave it up to you. One final round here tonight. This is the final round. What are we doing for this final couple here? Okay. What do we do for Jess and Bray Boy? Do we couple them up together? Do we have them marry each other? Or do we put our foots, our foots, do we put our foot down and say, no, thank you? Where's my food? Oh my God. Gamers, I'm so hungry. But you don't care. 15 seconds left, gamers. Get those final votes in. If you haven't voted yet tonight, shame on you, but you can still redeem yourselves by voting right now. What's it gonna be? Aaron, I hope you voted too. Very important. Three, two, one. And just like that, 79%, 119 of you voted. Yes, they should marry. Put a ring on all 20 of their fingers and call up the, the royal wedding people in whatever cathedral they hold the royal weddings. I don't know. Um, I forget. Aaron, where do they get married? You know this. Um, but yes, Jess Brayboy, you did it. You beat the odds. Everyone is on your side. Everyone thinks you should get married. Sorry. Dry it, she's, oh my God, that's really funny. So here's the thing. I saw someone in the chat wrote, men are trash. And I didn't see who wrote it, but I was gonna say, that's so funny. Aaron always says men are trash. And then I scroll up and of course, Aaron was the one that wrote the comment, men are trash. Oh my God, so predictable. So Aaron. <laughs> uh, congratulations gamers. You successfully played matchmaker for 21 couples here this evening. Um, if there's anything I learned, it's that Waluigi is not a trash character for a body pillow. And that's it. That's the only thing I learned tonight. What else did I learn? Um, low standards are cool. Kind of epic. Um, Shrek 5 is happening, whether you like it or not. I personally love it. Um, oh, and... And I don't get incest jokes. That's what I learned tonight. I Incest jokes completely go over my head, allegedly. I'm still mad at that. I'm mad at a lot of things, but that really that really salts my apples, gamers. I'll tell you what. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me try this. Hold on. Let me do this for the editor. Bye. Da, 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 da. You can hold on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, maybe you can fade out, I guess. Well, I gave you... Okay. Anyways, um, that was super fun. Um, gamers, I got to go. Um, but uh, thank you for watching. We will possibly stream tomorrow, Yai yeah, Live. Um, we will see. It depends on what we can get done tomorrow night. Um, but... Um, in the meantime, oh, let's rage Sushi Dragon. He's the best. We're going to raid uh, my good pal Sushi Dragon. Um, he is live. He kicks all the ass, and he is everything Twitch is um, doing right. He is like Twitch personified. I love Sushi Dragon. Go ahead and give, give Sushi all of our love. He's the best. Bye-bye.